there are times we don't, we're not able to save life if it's too late. And uh, maybe if that patient would have uh, recognized or sought medical help earlier or called for us earlier, sometimes it's too late by the time we get there. There's this one middle-aged female that came in. She is out of breath, didn't feel well, just sick to her stomach. I asked her multiple questions and the only response that she came back with was, I've waited too long, I've waited too long. A few minutes later, uh, she actually went into cardiac arrest and uh, the entire crew tried to resuscitate her and uh, the outcome was unsuccessful. If it's a female that we're responding to, I might be uh, looking at, at signs and symptoms that the patient is giving us. Sometimes they, they don't show the exact signs and symptoms that a male would. A female will present differently. They'll still kind of have the classic symptoms of you know the chest pain or chest pressure, the radiation to the, the, the jaw or the arm, but they also present uh, more flu-like symptoms. They'll also have back pain, maybe difficulty breathing. So you kind of have to take their history into account as well as what they were doing before and what they're presenting at that moment. The importance of bystander CPR, I would definitely say being able to recognize the signs and symptoms at the time of need. Also have the proper training to be able to save that life when that time comes. You never know if you're going to have a heart attack or have cardiovascular disease until you get checked. See your doctor, um, get checked, because you never know if you're going to be the next person that's going to need um, to have medical intervention. If you feel that impending doom and you feel like you need to get checked out, go and get checked out. Time is muscle with the heart and you need to get to a hospital and to the right resources so more can be done for you long term.